Good Easter morning to each and every one of you. On behalf of myself and Father Greg, we do want to wish all of you a very happy and blessed Easter morning. This has been a very strange Easter for all of us, a strange Lent, very strange time. Uh, we gather uh, without you, but we know you are with us in spirit and in heart. And although I know our church is empty these past few days, we know your hearts are still full of God's love. And we thank all of you for your love and kindness and support that you have given to all of us in this time. And we do hope at some point we will all be again together soon. As I mentioned in my reflection to the parish, in part I said our alleluias will be hollow this year. They will be hollow in the church, but they do not have to be hollow in our hearts. Despite the virus, God is with us walking with us and offering his hand for hope and vision for a better world. And as I said on Holy Thursday, we must weaponize empathy, kindness, and love for without those, we have nothing, we are nothing. But we are bigger and better than COVID-19 because I believe in my heart that we are Easter people. May the blessing of the resurrection and may the blessing of our loving God touch your hearts and the lives of your families during this holy season. And so we try to figure a way of how we could have all of you present to all of us. And so we ask for the next few minutes just to see how we hold all of you in the palm of our hearts. God bless. And we hope you enjoy you who will be on this YouTube in the next few minutes. Hymns of praise, then let us sing, Alleluia, unto Christ our heavenly King, Alleluia, who endured the cross and grave, Alleluia, sinners to redeem and save. Alleluia. So, Father Greg and I want you to know that we are holding all of you in the palm of our hands. This is the best way we can envision all of us together at this time. And I hope uh, this message is finding all of you hopeful. And again, we will gather someday again soon. This picture was taken last January, and every time that Father Dennis and I look at it, we are reminded of the many faces and the many spirits and the many souls 
that we miss during this difficult time. But this picture represents hope. This cross behind us represents hope and faith and joy. We pray that until we meet again, that God would hold you in the palm of his hand, knowing that we bless you and that we pray for strength for you this day. And together we make this offering in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy Easter.